Okay, this one. Try it again. Chalapa. Kasna. Oui. Anytime you're talking about the cycle of the moon, it's called we. Chamape gasnawi. Chamape is the leaves. Gasna is when it's all falling because of the wind, how fast it comes down. Chamape gasnawi. Okay, the year is. Let's see if I can remember. Ko. Kokta. Ko. Kokta. Kokto Ba We Re Ba We Re Kokto Ba We Re It's almost like the the hundred O Ba We Re Kokto Ba We Re Noom You can make it into Short, or you can write it into a full number. Numpa. And then sum is like the zero, like that empty space in the middle. Remember I told you we don't have no zeros in our language? There's no such thing as zeros because it's nothing. <laughs> so cook. Sum. Uh, ge. Shakpe. Kokto nupa sam ake wanji. A thousand, two, zero, sixteen. Remember sixteen? Sixteen is ake wanji. Whoops. I said I wasn't going to be writing too much washi too. Betu Bakha Ampetu Betu Trokahe I want to recognize some things that are on here. It seems like it's just numbers. Because in English, everything is just numbers, you know, just <coughs> but we have some different things in, in Lakota that you need to know. Numpa. It's supposed to be an N. Oh, fancy. Numpa. Ampetu. Yamini Ampetu Topa Ampetu Petu <coughs> Excuse me Zapta and oh, Wonka, you, ja, ja, be. Okay. The rest is. You go back to Sunday. Then you go with Tokahe, Petu Sapta, Petu Shakpe, Shakoi, 
שעק ברוך ה... נפצ'יוקה. Ten. When you do your tens, all you do is go back to. Oh, I'll start up here. Okay. En Petouacan. Remember, I told you they were. Um, we made our language so that it fits the the black robes when they came. And they were the ones that taught us, start teaching us English. They were the ones that were taught, teaching us um, uh, how to write them and how to develop our language. Before that, we never had no, no days. We didn't have numbers. We went by the moon, how the moon goes, the new moon and then the quarter moon half moon and all that stuff. We went by that and we counted days in between how it's going to run, how, how before it gets back to that full moon, how it's going to run those days. And we started developing. We probably had our own system, but when they came along, we had to put our language into their system. And that's how we came up with all these numbers. And so, Ampeto Wakan was Sunday, and they had already come from Europe because they were Christians that they already knew what Sunday was. So we, adapt, we just adapted to it. Okay, the, um, this is probably the only time you'll hear this in the numbers. Tokahe, it means the first. Tokahe, Tokahe. There's a hard case. Tokahe, Ampetu Tokahe, that's Monday. Ampetu Tokahe, and it's just the first day, you know, the first day of the week. And that's just what they, um, what the Lakotas adopted. And it's the only time it comes up, Ampetu Tokahe. After that, they come Ampetu Nupa, Ampetu Yamani, Ampetu Topa, Ampetu Zapta, and then Owanka Yujajapi. You know, for the Europeans, it was a time for them to clean their house, <coughs> wash their clothes, iron, you know, clean everything before they start in again. But they take a break and then they start working again, going to school, doing what they have to. So they wrote all that down and, and we just adapted our language to that. So, but the only thing was, we never would say Ampeto Anji. And if we say Ampeto Anji, it's um, Petu Wanji. It means something totally different. Petu Wanji. Okay, okay, I'll write it different. Petu Wanji. Petu Wanji is uh, one of these days. One of these days, you know, like um, maybe um, one of these days we'll get together and have, uh, make all you guys speak Lakota. One of these days, Ampetu Anji. But you can't say Ampetu Tchokahe. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, you can't say Ampetu Tchokahe Ki. You know, why the Lakota? It only comes up right there. The other one in the number system is one G. When you start counting, the only time you will ever use one G is in the beginning when you're starting to count. One, one chi, numpa, yamani, topa, zaptan, shak, vishak, vishak, loka, napachinka, wik, chemina. One chi. You can't use it, ake one chi. 
You can't use it. Ake numpa or ukchamina num ake wanchi. You can't use it. It's only in the beginning when you first count one. And you remember I told you we don't have no word for zeros? So there's no zeros on her. So this is the only time you use this word. And it's funny because it was just discovered not too long ago, probably at least within the last 20 years or something like that, that they discovered that that, that's, that was our number, number one, wanchi. It's only in a number, wanchi. But you can't say le wanchi. You have to say le wanji. Isn't that crazy? Le wanji. Then you use this one. That's why our number system, even even though it's really easy to learn, anybody can learn it, because all the little kids learn it. Manji no And that's how it was being taught. But later on they discovered when those old people used to talk, used to listen to them and try to figure out what they're saying. And that was it. Wanji. Only time you say it is when you start saying the number system. Wanji no payamni topa. It's the only time. That number comes up only one word. It comes up only one time. After that, it's wanji. So if I wanted to say, use it in a sentence, I can't say um, wanji. Not that strange. It kind of it, it took a while to figure it out, and uh, it took me a while to figure it out, you know. But once I heard him, Uncle Albert was teaching at one time, and I was listening, and I was listening, and I thought, you know what? He's right. I've never. I've never said Mwaji when I counted, and I never did hear the elder people say Mwaji. When they started counting, it was Wanchi. But anytime they talk about anything item, even if it's one, you know, they can't say Le Wanchi. They have to say Le Wanji. So our number, our number system, even then, is not that easy. You know, and then with Gemini, you can say, once you go to Wikijemna, you go with, let's see, 21, that's where I was. Wikijemna. Hold on, did I spell it right? Wikijemna. Numpa. Once you get to that point, that's 20. Every 10 is, is uh, the next number up. It's a system that they de develop. Kajamana Yamani. And all you have to do is write, in 21 is Ake Wanji. So if I asked you to write your name and your your date in Lakota, that's what it is. Kakto po ingano pa sam ake shak pe o chong ape chong ape kasno we. Ape tu ake nupa. You see that? So this is the year, oh, month, right? This is the year. And then the days. You go all the way to Akenup Chiunka. Then you go to Wikichemina. Wikichemina Nupa, Wikichemina Yamani. And you start with Ake Waji, Ake Nupa, Ake Yamani, Ake Tapa, Ake Zapta, Ake Shakpe, Ake Shakoi, Ake Shakoha, Ake Napchionka. And then instead of saying Wik Gemina or Ake Wik Gemina, you go to 20, so that's Wik Gemina Nupa.
that's two tens, right? Two ten, and that's two tens. Bukchamana nupa. Ake wanji. Bukchamana nupa ake wanji. Same with uh, when you get to 30, 29, Vukchamana Nupa. Vukchamana Nupa Ake Napchiunka. You get to the next 10, that's three tens, right? Three tens. Vukchamana Yamani. And if you say Vukchamana Yamani, Ake Wanji. You go at the same. Same with all that again. From after the single numbers and you start adding the one, it's always gonna be Ake Wanji. Wikchemina Yamani Ake Wanji. Vukchemina Yamani Ake Numpa, 32. Vukchemina Yamani Ake Topa, 34. You get it? I just want you to learn the number system and how to say them. And where it makes a big difference, like this one. We have no zeros, so we can't put to 2,000. There's no zeros. When we learn our, um, which one is it? it might be conjugations and, and um, male and female endings. We also don't really have a, a future. We have past and present, but we have no future. Because Lakotas believe that you can't predict the future. You don't want, never know what's going to happen. Nowadays, they say planning. You make a plan for the future, you know. But when it happens, you don't know when it's going to happen. The funny thing about it is that, um, you know, you see somebody and I'd say, they're leaving and I'd say, ah, toksha ke, you know. That doesn't mean tomorrow or same time or you know all that it just means that something's going to happen in the future and i'll see you then you know so we don't really have no um no future tense so whatever they call it future word for the future the only way you're going to learn about that is when you write your stuff in english and then you translate it then you can make it into a, a written plan, you know. That's why uh, people always say Indian time. <laughs> and it, it's, it's really funny when they talk about Indian time. But Indian time is um, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give a feast and I'm going to have a giveaway. And um, it's going to be a memorial, but I'll do it when I'm, you know, toksha. You know, toksha ichamukte. And so, it's when you're good and ready. You have to be good and ready when you want to do it. All of a sudden, you can come in and say, well, I'm going to do it today. You know, you can bring a cake in here and have a birthday dinner and have a little giveaway or something, you know, give out presents. But it's an it's a unpredicted time. But uh, for us Lakotas, it's always when I'm good and ready, I'll do it. And it, it's really funny because... Um, the other teaching that goes with it is that you have to do it. You have to do it because you already said you're going to do it. You know, you can't skip it and forget it and say, oh, I can't, I couldn't do it, or they wouldn't let me do it, or stuff like that. It's something that you have to do. So that's the part. You know, you have no future. There's no future in it, you know. Dokshai you know. Well, I'm better to talk about it,
I'll do it on the first day. But when? You know? <laughs> you know you're going to do it on a Monday, but when? You know, that's the next thing. So we have a lot of, uh, um, I mean, we had no concept of time until the white man came along with their little muzzle shkum shkum. Otherwise, we say, Ampo, he honey, Ampo, uh, uh, Ampo, he honey, uh, Ampetu is the whole day, on the whole day. We choke on hiya is right in the middle, and then Khtayatu a is right there. The sun is getting ready to go down. Khtayatu a, and how happy it's nighttime. You want me to write those down too? Will you guys get all this done? I just want you to learn the number system. How it's written and how it's used. Because uh, it's not really simple. Most of the time when you're teaching it to kids, it's, it is simple because the teachers that learned it didn't take the time to know how this number system really works. So we have uh, any time the sun starts to come up. Ampo. Ampo. And this whole thing is Ampetu. The sun comes up fully. It's he honey. You can either you. I'll just keep it simple that way, you guys, because I want I'm teaching vowels with you guys. So, he honey. See that? He honey. Nasal in. The accent is on that. He honey. You guys ever listen to K and I? My brother's always on the radio. He always says, "Hey, honey, won't check you big day. We're gonna say the morning prayers, and then we cho go he ya yeah." It's a breakdown. We is the sun. Choka is in the middle. Anything that's in the middle is choka. Make sure you put your accents in there. Cho. Ga hiya ye. Hiya ye is uh, something that's going. A movement. Hiya ye. Hiya ye. And it's based on uh, anything that's. I don't know, material, like the sun that's moving, hiaye. Or you can say that car is hiaye, you know, yechenkakama hiaye, you know. So it's a movement. And then, khta, khta, ye, tu. Khta, ye, tu. Khtayetu. Where's that song coming from? Khtayetu. Khtayetu. That's evening right there. See how the sun is right now? That's evening. Khtayetu. And then the sun goes down here. It's ha happy. Ha happy. That's our concept of time. We can use it as a, what they call it, um, the sundials. 
when they put a camp up, they put a pole up and they use that as the time, how to tell time when to go, when to do what, when to go to bed. We also have one at midnight. It's called Ha Cho Ga. Han Choka. That's our concept of time. The funny thing about it, there's another one that's he honey, he honey. Wanna he honey. Ampo, he honey <laughs> covers the whole thing. Because you can say tomorrow, he honey ki. It's tomorrow. He honey ki. Or a lot of them nowadays, it's a new, new saying is, he honey washte. A lot of them say, he honey washte. Good morning. They say, ampete washte. Means good day, good afternoon. Ahepi washte. Good night. See how the language changed? Changed into new language. That's what they call new language. The whole concept of time. But we don't have the hours. We don't go by the hours because we don't have no no um, Indian clocks. We don't have, we didn't we didn't put it into our we didn't put our language into the clock. If if I wanted to some say let's see. Some say Owapche, but it's it's a new new slang. Owapche. The real uh, word is O A P H E. It's a adopted, another adopted language. Where do you think it came from? Anybody have an idea? Owapche. Après is a hit. Au après is a, remember um, those grandfather clocks, remember? Ding, ding, ding. That's where that came from, au après. So if I wanted to say it's uh, 7 o'clock, I'll say au après. Cha, go, hey. Okay, so now uh, you can do that with your time system, with your number to 12 o'clock. Draw a clock out and show it, write it on there, that way you'll get an idea of how it goes. You can start from Mwangi, Mwangi, to Wabche, Ake, Nupa. From one o'clock to twelve o'clock. O apre. A lot of the people you hear talk at the hour say o apre. O apre, but it's not a o apre. It's o apre. Because of that, we adapted the grandfather clock. How it uh, changes. We can still use it on a digital clock, you know, we can still use it on one of them. I don't know what to call it. But that's our time system. If you wanted to, you can write all <coughs> this down. Ampo is what? O apre shakpe. O apre shakpe. And you can start from there. Shakoi, Shagalohan, Apchinka, Wikchemina, Ake Wanji, Ake Nupa. And then you start with Manji, Nupa, Yamani, Topa, Shakpe, Shagalohan, Apchinka, Wikchemina. Only thing is, 
when you get to midnight, you get to back to Ake, Numpa. And back to Wanji. And you start over again. <laughs> you want to challenge it? You guys do it as a homework. Learn, um, that's how you're going to learn your clocks, your time. If you had to add it into a sentence, like a wapre. Or you know, or something. You know, I'll teach you all them words. You're going to find them all in there. It's all in the books, guys. Really. It is. <laughs> but because I grew up this way, and I already learned all this, I don't have to use books to teach you guys. 